Greetings YouTube and welcome to yet another announcement video for Monday, July 30th, 2018 because there is just so much rolling out between the in-game announcements and forum posts. I don't have time to keep track of it, but my job and really my obligation to the amazing MCFC community is to put out as much information as possible and so we are doing just that and let me tell you, we have some exciting things. August, the month that I have to go back and start teaching after a Fun-filled summer full of peaks and valleys, just like Kabam summer, shall we say, uh, is going to be so exciting. I am already so hyped for the monthly calendar. If you haven't seen that video yet, I just posted it a couple hours ago. But now, we are looking at August 1st goodness. Don't take my words for it. Those are the words of Mr. Kabam Mike, who likes to drop the mic with his two eyes in his name. Because we're going to see two things that I could not be more hyped up about. Specifically because I hate Alliance War with a growing passion. Anyone who watches my channel knows that Alliance War, especially in those upper tiers of Platinum, you just get guaranteed a burnout of the game. And with the new map that makes Alliance War even harder, and it's more likely if you want to 100% complete it, that you're going to be spending or at least throwing up a crazy amount of boosts every Alliance War. People are going to be burnt out like never before as I am burnt out never before, and I've only been doing Gold 1 lately. So, my point in saying this is that I really wish there was a way to get Tier 5 Basic Catalyst without having to either wait for Act 6 or do Alliance War for those super juicy Alliance War crystals that come at the end of the season rewards. Well, Mr. Prof Hoff, you are in luck because we now have an announcement when we scroll down here. And I think before I get to that, well, actually, let's just start talking about this. In the second paragraph, starting August 1st around 10 a.m. Pacific time, we're re-enabling the sale of Tier 4 Basic Catalyst. I am so excited about that because as much as I love Tier 4 Basics, they're really easy to get from the Glory Store to Alliance Quest Weekly and especially the arena that now gives you two, or if Kabam screws up, even three Tier 4 Basic per arena. So this gives me more of an incentive as a crazy addicted arena grinder to grind for the tier 4 basic every single week so I can sell that thing for even just a small, small smidgen of tier 5 basic catalyst fragments because, of course, that's what I need for my next rank 565 5 star champion. So, amazing progress. Kabam, you're evolving the game. You're doing a great job. This is such a step in the right direction. I'm going to give as much praise on you as possible. Please remember those of you who think that I just love to hate on this company no matter what, that one, that would be the biggest hypocritical move I could make because I love this game and I have a YouTube channel because of it, so why would I want it to go away? And two, when there are reasons to throw praise on it and they're not uh, setting up entrapment with beta tests, there are plenty of reasons for me to want to say thank you, Kabam, and this is another one of those videos that I just want to say, hey, Kabam, thanks a lot. Now, secondly, and this is going to be so huge, especially for newer players or intermediate players who don't have enough Tier 4 class catalysts to rank up a specific champion like a Blade or, say, a Scarlet Witch or even an Iceman or an Archangel. We're introducing something that we think some of you will find pretty exciting. I would correct that. I think everybody should find this pretty exciting. The ability to trade in three of your Tier 4 class catalysts for a different class. How does it work? We're introducing five brand new crystals to the Special Crystals tab. Each of them will be available for the cost of three Tier 4 class catalysts of a certain class. When you purchase one of these crystals, you are guaranteed to receive a Tier 4 class catalyst of a different class. This means if you're overflowing on Tech T4 CCs, which kabam, I don't know if you've been stalking me, but I'm always overflowing with Tech Tier 4 class catalysts, so yes, that is me. You can spend three of them to buy a special crystal that is guaranteed to give you a single mutant skill, science, mystic, or cosmic Tier 4 class catalyst. Now, I do want to say this. Even though that is kind of cool, by how I read it, that means that you're giving up two class catalysts for one class catalyst. So it would be a lot more exciting if you traded in three of those classes to get three of a different class. But if you're trading in three of one class to get one of another class, you're going to see so many horror stories of people who say, uh, I know when you're starting out in the game, especially before the latest round of champs, everybody was overflowing mostly with science and cosmic catalysts. So let's say you trade in three science uh, catalysts to get this crystal, and you get one cosmic catalyst. That is a nightmare waiting to happen, and I guarantee you we're going to see some of those horror stories. So I read this over, and I jumped quickly on 
to talk about this, and I was kind of hopeful because I didn't do too much specific reading that it was a three for three ratio. But now that I see it's a three to one ratio, it's kind of a little disappointing and even a little bit shady. Not that that's a su total surprise, but um, I don't know how to feel about that. You know, I, I think. I think if you're giving up three for the price of one, you should be able to choose that one because you're sacrificing two. You're going from being able to have as many class catalysts as need be for a rank five four-star champion or a rank three five-star champion to getting just one of a different class, which can't do you any good to rank up any champion because you need more than that. So, oh man, I'm really hyped up about the tier four class catalyst being sold for tier five basics. I don't care if it's 100 or 200 fragments. That is 100 or 200 closer to my next rank five five star and that's what I care about most. But this three to one ratio sale, oh, I don't know about that. And as a reminder, I already did a video on this, but as they announced in game, we will be able to have some special cinematic crystals, which I could care less about, but I feel like there's a lot of people who are gonna love it, and as you should, tier four class Callus crystal, which is great, and the best news of all, a tier two alpha catalyst, just for logging in into the game. Again, they just asked us to, uh, to to pay $100 for it, and now they're giving it to us for free. Gotta love that. Now, lastly, we'll once again be sending all summoners at level 25 or over the master difficulty key, which, again, is pretty cool for nothing. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to prepare ourselves. August is, for the most part, a month that looks to be very exciting. But I do think, very, very much so, that the 3 to 1 ratio is pretty dang shady. If... You had told me that it was three to three, or I don't know, even three to two. I could say you could you'll have to sacrifice one class catalyst to get two from a different class. But the the three to one, I, I just I don't know. It's certainly better than letting the the two expire, that overflow. But wouldn't it make more sense if Kabam knows that you have an overflow issue to just extend the overflow of the amount that you can carry in your inventory? Uh, instead, they're they're making you sell or sacrifice two of them in hopes that you get a one out of five opportunity at a different class. And I think that makes perfect sense if you're in that uh, really unique spot where you have all of one class really overflowing and then very little from any other class because it doesn't really matter what one of the five classes you get, you're going to be thankful. But if you're in what a lot of people's spots are where you need a specific class like, say, Mystic or Skill or even Mutant, and you've got everything overflowing, and you're giving up two for the price of that one, chances are you're still going to miss the RNG, because you only have a 20% chance at a one out of five to get that specific class. And that's not legendary. That's just not uh, something to be excited about. So I'm mixed. Very excited about selling Tier 4 Basics. I'm going to be even more incentivized to use my glory on them and to go for them in the arena, but I am not hyped up at all to give up three Tier 4 Class Catalysts for the chance at one of a different class. It just seems like it's a ripoff to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're gonna watch this and be like, Prof, you're being too critical as always, you negative Nancy. I think it's great. Comment below, let me know. I always love to read your comments. Thanks for liking this video and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do my best to put out information when it comes and today the information has been flowing like newspapers before the internet. Thanks for watching YouTube.